Across North America, we have seen superstorms and floods that have overwhelmed our communities. So what's the connection between these flooding events and climate change? Scientists are more certain than ever that burning fossil fuels and cutting down forests are the two biggest driving forces of climate change. These two human activities have released large amounts of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases into our atmosphere that have surrounded the planet like a heat-trapping blanket. As CO2 levels rise, temperatures rise. The result, as the world gets warmer, the climate changes. And extreme weather events become more common. The warmer atmosphere causes more evaporation from the world's oceans and lakes, and even the soil, into the sky. With each additional temperature increase of one degree Celsius, the capacity to hold water increases by 7%. There is already 4% more water vapor in the atmosphere above the oceans than just 30 years ago. The atmosphere soaks up water vapor like a sponge, then releases it in torrential downpours that overwhelm our communities. At the same time, the extra heat pulls water from the soil and plants on land. Droughts become deeper and longer. But we can change this. Now is the time to act and reduce carbon emissions. We need an urgent, far-reaching response that makes a difference today and for our children tomorrow.